We'll now model the return side of an exposed HVAC system to serve the retail space on level 1. We'll start by adding air handling units and air terminals, also called diffusers, to distribute the air. We've opened the level 1 ceiling plan and zoomed into the retail space. We'll choose the air terminal tool in the home tab and select the 24 inch square face diffuser from the drop down menu. Let's choose an offset of 12 feet from level 1. Now place two return diffusers close to the exterior west wall or back of the retail center. The supply diffusers will go on the east side near the front exterior walls. We place supply and return diffusers on opposite ends of the space to maximize the air circulation distance. Now let's open the mechanical equipment tool in the home tab and choose the size 6 16 inch VAV unit from the type drop down menu. Enter an offset of 13 feet from level 1 and place the unit somewhere centered from the terminals, being careful not to overlap the pendant lighting fixtures. Now let's create the connecting ductwork for those return terminals and the air handler. Later in the exercise, you will place and connect the associated supply terminals to the same air handler. Select both of the return terminals in the view, and the Modify Terminals tab appears, where we can choose to create a new return system for these terminals. We'll open the Create Return Systems tool, and the Return Systems tab appears with options for editing the system. First choose Select Equipment and click on the Air Handler unit. Open the Generate Layout tool. The Options bar displays a solution menu. We'll keep the Network option, but let's open Settings to define the types and offsets for the main and branch of this ductwork. Since it is an exposed system, we will choose more aesthetically pleasing round duct. Choose the oval duct with gourd elbows and taps and set 13 feet for the offset. For the branch, we'll choose round duct with T's, also at a 13 foot offset. We'll enable flex duct and choose a maximum length of 6 feet. Cycle through the available solutions and we'll see that the first solution is the best routing layout. Choose that and click finish layout. We can ignore these warnings that the flex duct exceeded the set maximum since it's so minor. We can now use the Move tool to adjust the placement of the air handler unit, which will cause an automatic update of the duct layout, and in this way we have brought it out of conflict with the lighting fixtures. Finally, to double check that the HVAC duct system was generated, let's return to the 3D HVAC view and orbit around to see that it modeled correctly. Revit applies a default pink color display filter to all HVAC return systems. We can review all of the mechanical systems defined in our project in the system browser. Switch to the View tab and then open the User Interface drop-down to turn on the system browser view and by expanding the Mechanical System 1, we see all the terminals belonging to that air handler.